Hello everyone, this is what we're going to make today, so let's take a look. Optical illusion ring, like letter O, and the text. Again. So it's pretty similar to what we did uh, last time. Okay, so please don't forget to subscribe and then set the notification for my latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so before we animate it, uh, we need to have this uh, shape in Illustrator. So if you have missed my previous video, uh, I'm making a link on top of my screen and also in my description. So um, you can um, make these shapes in Illustrator, like the MC Escher style, like optical illusion. So once you have this, and go to File, and save it. I'm going to save it as a two different files. One is a SVG file, scalable vector, uh, vector graphics, and then another one as export for web as a Pink24 and transparent background. So two files. So once you save it, and then uh, go to Animate CC and let's create a new file, 600 pixel by 600 pixel. So I can, I'm going to upload on my the Instagram. Uh, so please visit my Instagram as well. And 24 frame rate and HTML5 canvas. And create it. Let me double click so I can fit in window. And the stage color is going to be uh, black. And we're going to import those two files into the library, which are circle.png and circle.svg two things and then please make sure you click on the top radio button import all path into the same layer and frame okay now check the library so I have these two so first I will need to have this circle.svg the vector graphics so just drag and drop into the stage and open align panel if you do not see this, it is under Windows menu, and where are you? Line. Okay, and check Align to Stage checkbox, and Horizontal Center, and Vertical Center. Okay. Now, there are actually two different parts. One looks like number 6, another one looks like number 9. It's kind of upside down. Uh, so we're going to separate it into two pieces and we're going to assign uh, individual layer for each piece. So select this first and under the modify menu and let's break apart. So from now on I'm going to use a uh, shortcut command B. Maybe a control B on your uh, if you're a PC user. Okay and one more time command B. So there are two pieces now. Now select the right one, number 9. Then cut, command X or under edit menu, cut. So it's gone. Make a new layer on top and then paste in place. And it will paste it into the same spot uh, where you uh, made a copy. Okay, so I have the one, let me rename it as a lefty. And this one is a righty. Okay. And select both and break apart again. Command B. So now this is more like an editable uh, vector graphics now. So this left one, I'm going to apply kind of a light gray. And the righty one, I'm going to apply a little bit darker gray. Like this. Okay. Or maybe I'll let me try a little dark one. I think this one looks better. Okay, now it's time to animate it. So we're going to start from the one second animation. So highlight uh, one second mark, which is frame number 24. Hold down the shift key and click on the bottom one as well. So we select both and insert the keyframe. Okay, and now hold down the shift key and click on the top layer so we can select all layers. Then place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle. 
hold down the control or right click and create classic twin okay so nothing's changing yet so this is a departure and this is a destination we're going to change some settings on departure which is frame number one so i'm um, on frame number one i'm going to move my left e to the bottom left corner and the righty to the top right corner so this is happening okay but uh, this is not kind of uh, dynamic or exciting so what i'm going to do now is let me select my left team and open transform panel if you do not see this it is under windows menu and transform I'm going to make it 20% smaller. Please check this chain. And also, I want to rotate uh, 360. Also, I'm going to rotate it uh, 180. So it does like this. Okay. And then on my uh, righty one, open the transform panel, 20% smaller and 180. Okay. And on frame number one, I'm going to move it to the really close to the corner, each one. So it does this. Okay, but uh, also what I'm going to do is, let me select those two layers again, open the properties panel, and then uh, there's a classic uh, ease option. Let me apply minus 100, negative 100. So it's going to be a little faster, faster, okay. But um, also, let me select on frame number one, let me select both objects. And in the properties panel, there is one option for the color effect. And let me choose the alpha from this drop down menu and set the alpha value down to zero. So that means it's going to be fading in, rotating, and scaling up at the same time. Like this. Okay, so this is done. Now let's create a new layer on top. Uh, I will rename it as a color and then on frame number 24 which is a one second mark let me insert the keyframe it's now as a kind of blank keyframe and then open the library panel select your circle.png file and place it on top of it let me zoom in and I'm going to Place it like this. Let me zoom out. Okay. Yep. So it looks good. Okay. Now, highlight the two second mark, which is a frame number 48, all three layers. So by holding down the ship, uh, select the other. Uh, any frame 48 on the bottom layer and then I hold down the shift key and click on the top layers and insert the keyframe okay so the plan is um, the gray one will be fading out and at the same time this color one will be fading in so let me hide the top layer for now temporarily okay by clicking this eyeball and then at the end, select both and open the properties panel, color effect, and change the alpha value down to zero. So it is fading out. And also now make the other top layer visible. Okay. And hold down the control key or right click and then um, apply classic twin so nothing's changing yet what I'm gonna do is uh, the first keyframe of this color one 
select your object and change the color effect alpha value from 0 to 100. So let me play it. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, on frame number 16, here, let me insert another keyframe. Then hold down the control key or right click uh, in the middle, somewhere in the uh, between the second and the third keyframe, and create classic twin. Okay. So what I'm gonna do is I want to rotate it maybe just once, like a clockwise. So it does this. But uh, at the end, on frame number 60, I want to make it a little bit smaller. I want to move up slightly by using this free transform tool on frame number 60. Hold down the shift key, make it a little bit smaller, and move it up. Maybe about this. So this will happen, watch. Okay. And also, <clears throat> excuse me, I want to uh, apply um, this, minus 100, is option. Okay. And shoo. Okay. So it's not too bad. Nice time to apply um, the text. Let me create a new layer on top. And on frame number 60, let me insert a new keyframe. I'm going to type the word illusion. And the center. And then I'm going to set my text color to white. Okay, uh, this typeface uh, I showed you uh, in my previous video, but um, uh, if you go to defont.com uh, and then uh, in the search window here, you may type the word illusion, and this is the one I downloaded. It looks like a kind of another optical illusion typeface. Okay, so in here, um, I'm going to uh, apply um, uh, the animation on individual letters, so that means we need to separate this whole word into individual letters by using break apart, command B. Okay, then go to modify menu, uh, timeline and distribute to layers. Okay, so now you can see the, all the words. Okay, and then uh, before we animate it, I'm going to break apart again as a graphic because uh, this is a really kind of a specific uh, kind of fancy typeface I downloaded. So if your end user doesn't have this font, it will be replaced by system default font like Georgia, Geneva, Times New Roman, or Arial, something like that. So, okay, then now, <clears throat> excuse me. Highlight the uh, frame number 70 uh, from the first letter I and then hold down the shift key and highlight the other last frame on I mean the on frame number 70 on top layer as well and insert the keyframe. Okay. Now hold down the shift key and click on the top layer so we can select all letters layer. All letters. And then Place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle here. Hold down the control or right click and create classic twin. Okay. So nothing's changing yet. Okay. Now, place your playhead on frame number 60, uh, the first keyframe of your all letters animation. Okay. So select all frames, click on your letters on your stage, okay, now open transform panel, 
I'm gonna make it 500% larger, which is huge. And I'm not going to rotate it. Also, let me change the alpha value down to zero. So they are fading in. Okay. And also, before I move on, I want to uh, do this. Let me select all layers. And the ease option, this time, 100. Negative, no, positive 100. Okay, that's good. Okay, now let's give a kind of a little bit different timeline. So, I comes first, and then I L the next letter. Select the entire segment, and then move it five more frames to the right. Now, next layer, <coughs> excuse me, move it to the next frame, five more. Next letter, five more. Next letter, five more. Next, five more. Next, five more. And the next, five more. Okay, problem is everything's gone, disappeared. So what we're gonna do is, we need to keep the, um, the color uh, letter O, this ring, and then all other letters. So, on frame number 105, let me highlight frame number 105 on the second layer from the top, and hold down the shift key, and click on this color one. Then insert a keyframe. Uh, let me hit the return key. So this is happening. Okay. This is nice. Uh, let me preview it on my web browser. Command return. Okay, but um, uh, by default it's kind of a looping, so um, I need to have a little more time so people have enough time to read it, to see uh, my uh, the shapes and then on the word animation. So uh, after it's kind of four and a half seconds, so let me assign maybe um, a little bit more than two seconds. So I'm um, on frame number seven, from the top letter to a colored one. And insert the keyframe. So once it hits frame number 105, and it will stay maybe about almost a three seconds and it will play. So under Windows, I mean the control menu and test movie in the browser. And staying maybe one, two, three, and play again. Okay, so that's it. I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching and see you next time.